at five, something the city did not do for this cold snap is open warming centers. News 4 troubleshooter Emily Bauckham is live in the newsroom finding out why. Emily. You'll remember this was a big discussion after the deadly winter storm two years ago, and having a warm place to go is critical for the chronic homeless. But new numbers the troubleshooters uncovered show warming centers have not been widely used by the public at large. At Haven for Hope. These people are working around the clock. Ann Kern stopped us to say staying here is saving her life. I called and they said, are you letting people in? This was two days ago. And they said, no one's freezing to death tonight. You can come in just dead here. More than 1,600 people slept here last night, mostly in the cafeteria, where they're now grabbing a bite to eat, staying warm. Today, some choose to be in the courtyard under industrial heaters, the mats sanitized after use. If we see someone walking around without a heavy coat or blankets or shoes, you know, we immediately take them over to our warehouse to pick out those items. Haven spokesperson Terry Bailing says the city and shelters are teaming up to encourage people to get off the streets. We are in constant contact with the city and other partner agencies serving this population. And for this cold snap, the city's leaning on nonprofits, choosing not to open its own warming centers. City spokesperson Laura Mays explains how the decision was made. So the city uses a policy of when to open warming centers when we monitor the weather conditions and we see that we're going to have temperatures of 32 degrees or lower for a sustained period of time. That could also be in, comp in combination with precipitation that might make it dangerous for folks to be outside or, or to travel. Just weeks ago, right before Christmas, the weather was bad enough for the city to open warming centers for two days. The numbers show most of the people who use them are homeless. As for the rest of the public, just a handful, no more than four at a time. This time around, May says there are other options for families who lose heat. At this time, our libraries and senior centers have remained open, so folks are looking for a place to spend their day, you know, um, they might stop into one of those. And for the chronic homeless, yeah, I do stay on the street, maybe at the park or something like that. The wraparound services offered at shelters are here to help. Oh yeah, I am grateful to be here because I probably freeze on the street. If you are at home without heat, heat call 311 for the nearest temporary shelter, library, or senior center where you can get help. And if you're lucky enough to be in a warm place tonight, Haven for Hope and the Salvation Army tell me they could really use donations of blankets and warm clothes. I'm News 4 Troubleshooter, Emily Bauckham. Thank you, Emily.